Hey guys, what's happening? It's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, right in front of the museum, here actually on West Main Street in Rockville. Today, I'm about to take you on a little adventure on the nicest Honda 305 Dream we've had through the museum yet. This is a CA77, the serial number is CA77E on the engine, indicating this is a 1966 model. This is one of those rare survivors that's in original condition, has original seat cover, original paint job, a little bit of touch up on the paint job. You can see it's got patina on the side cover and a little bit on, on everywhere, but it's the original over 50 year old paint job on this bike. Even has the original Honda grips on this. Now we've had some in here that look good, but this one is the best running one, one we've had through the shop. Yeah, it runs like an absolute dime piece. Over $3,000 worth of mechanical work's been done on it. And it has a brand new set of Firestone Deluxe Champion period correct raised white wall tires. Very expensive set of tires on there that um, just really kind of set the whole bike off. The, um, the These Honda Dreams, um, it's, look at this, Kenny. Has the original Honda uh, Motor Company LTD manufactured in Japan sticker on it still has the original cables on it, original grips, original mirrors. These are the Honda Motor Company mirrors. This is a bike that was owned by an old timer that really cared for it its entire life. This is not a bike that was restored or run into the ground. Now, if you know anything about these Honda Dreams, these don't, these bikes don't set well with being out in the elements, left outside, parked outside. This is one that was parked in a nice high and dry garage and cleaned regularly so all the original chrome surfaces are intact the original mufflers very rare to find an original set of mufflers that isn't rotted out like um like uh, original set of pipes very difficult to find on these let alone the original seat cover and paint and all the rest of the features um this is the bike that kind of put honda on the map this was a, they were event the dreams were essentially the same through their entire production run they always had that uh stamped steel front fork very cool design anyways enough flapping of the gums the best part about this bike is the way it rides and runs so let's take it for a little adventure so fires right up electric start was ahead of his time has a brand new battery on it these bikes are good for 90 miles per hour uh 23 horsepower it is a uh vertical twin cylinder engine with a ball bearing crank these were built to last forever and, and unlike the european bikes and the and the jet and the american bikes of that era this one doesn't leak at all. It doesn't leak oil or gas, and they never did. Uh, you can see it's oil tight and runs like a, like a top, and it has electric start. The crankshaft on this runs on ball bearings, and it's a the pistons go up and down at the same time as the crankshaft turns. The pistons go up and down, but they alternate firing per side. So it's a common uh, pin on the crank, but it alternates firing. So just a beautiful piece. The black and white really, really sets the tone for it. Has a nice vintage look. Gotta check this out, look at this. Listen to the exhaust note on this, can you hear this? It sounds like a little Daytona 500 Triumph or something like that, but one that runs a lot better. Look at this sticker. When I saw this bike, it had me, hello, it's like it's got my last name on it, Jake Kaplan's. I hope you leave it in the museum. If you buy it, please leave it here. We'll give you a uh, free membership to the museum and free storage. Has the original Stanley uh, uh, rear Lens on here, and the license plate says older, O-L-D-R. This bike is older, older than you probably. It's uh, 55 years old, so almost pushing 60 years. Check it out, has the original Honda pegs on it. You see that, Kenny? Isn't that cool? Has a heel toe shifter. Let's take it for a little, little spin down memory lane here. This is like a time capsule. Original uh, bars, has a very cool classic look. This is something you'd expect Fonzie or uh, James Dean to pull up on. And it sounds, it sounds the business, that's for sure. I'm pretty excited. Heel toe shifter, classic, classic feature. And uh, these, are, these are good for 90 miles an hour, 23 horsepower, 90 miles an hour. This isn't just a city bike, this is something you can take out on the highway if you wanted to ride it cross country, you could. One of the, one of the other cool features of this bike is it's got a, um, it's got a, a single carburetor. Most twins have two carburetors, which means more tuning problems, more maintenance problems, more things that go wrong, twice as many things. Um, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a shirt underneath my jacket here with the VP logo on it. We're running VP small engine fuel on all the classic and vintage bikes here at the museum. They are, uh, the fuel is um, 
ethanol free, 94 octane. We just put the tires on here. Uh, I'm gonna bring it in and have them rebalance the front tire. I don't think it's balanced properly. I'm gonna have them take care of that. And uh, she's ready to go. New battery, carbs have been cleaned. Gas tank's nice and clean inside. I'll go over the work order when we get inside. Over $3,000 worth of work's been done to the bike. These are, these are going up in value big time. More, more so, not only are they rare and significant part of Honda's history and certainly a bike that any collection, any, any good uh, museum collection is going to have one of these on display. It's such a significant part of when Honda came on the scene and started really selling a lot of bikes to the American market, over 50,000 bikes a year and uh, making a name for themselves. Hey, I got, I got, I got something I've never shared with you guys uh, before. If you know me and you follow me, you know I'm probably one of the most driven people you'll ever meet. I work pretty much nonstop. I did 25 years in the computer business and uh, in the motorcycle industry. I'm, I'm always hustling seven days a week, commonly put in 80 hour weeks. One of the things that drives me is my dad. Um, in the 60s, early 60s, he had an opportunity to be the first Honda distributor in in uh, the Northeast here in New Jersey and uh, he got sick and didn't go to the meeting. I've come to work with a broken foot. I've come to work with a broken back. It like drives me, it haunts me. The, the ghost of, of his, well, I'm not gonna say failure, but um, his, his mistake of not being there at that Honda meeting drives me. And we've had opportunities with Indian. We've had opportunities with Yamaha uh, to get franchises and they, nothing's come through yet, but I've always gone the extra mile because I'm not going to let me dropping the ball be Junior's uh, uh, nemesis down the road. Uh, so I, I'm not, we're not, we're not going to fail because of any lack of hard work on my part or missing any meetings like my dad did. He missed that meeting with Honda. We could have been a major Honda distributor. But in any event, back to this bike. Super high quality classic. Oh, 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 oh. Almost got run over by a uh, Nissan. Elderly people. You almost just got hit. Very close. Well, I, I think the work area head sign. Any event, um, let's bring it inside and go over the details on this bike before we get run over. Uh, the uh, transmission shifts like butter on this, way better than any Honda, uh, I mean Harley or Triumph from that era. Um, engine runs beautifully, 23 horsepower is enough to ride it cross country if you wanted to. And these were rated for over 100 miles per gallon. I did a little research that they rated it online. I had read uh, it was rated for 102 miles per gallon, which is uh, super. Hey, you go out and buy a brand new Honda or a Harley for 10 grand today. Five years from now, that bike's going to be worth, I don't know, six, six, seven thousand. Uh, 10 years from now, it's going to be worth 5,000. And 15 years now, it's going to be worth three grand. New vehicles drop in value for the first 15 years. However, you buy this bike, it's money in the bank. Why? There's none of these left. They're, they're all gone. Well, there's a few left, but original survivors like this with under, under 15,000 original miles with all original levers and mirrors and bars and chrome and original unmodified, undamaged, original patina this is what this is what brings all the value in we did a little we did a little research listen listen away this thing idles it's just fantastic of course we did a little research to find out the market value because well we haven't had one this nice come up for sale in the eight years we've been here this is the this is the first one and uh listen to that can you hear that fantastic exhaust note kind of intoxicating the kind of bike that you just want to keep on riding and, and again let me let me demonstrate this one more time huh hey turn it off real quick i want to i want to get a clip for mike bressler uh, just on my phone here if you start it and give okay a couple reps. all right go ahead here we go yes i have the best job in the world 
uh, having the faith to, to leave a six-figure computer industry job to chase my dreams here of opening the motorcycle museum with my son was, was a great decision. And days like today are all the reward I need. Like I said, I don't do it for the money. Um, I do this because I love motorcycles. And this is one that's pretty easy to love, so. I don't recall the last Honda 300 twin we've had through the shop, never mind a 60s unrestored piece like this. I do, and they were all piles of junk compared to this, uh, for sure. Um, we've had a couple that ran but needed restorations. We sold them as is because these are extremely expensive to restore and parts are very difficult to come by. So to find one that's got original everything like this one does is uh, pretty much unheard of. Most of them are in private collections or in museums and exactly where this one will probably end up. Some of the key features of this bike, this is Honda's top of the line. It's a very well equipped touring and commuter bike. And uh, I think the hallmark of the Honda is how reliable it is and how comfortable it is. It's got the long seat so you can move back and forth. It's got enough power for a passenger with 23 horsepower and it'll do 90 miles an hour down the, down the highway at 100 and commuting around town over, at over 100 miles per gallon. So they're super efficient. Um, it has a chain driven camshaft, obviously electric starter, ball bearing crankshaft I mentioned earlier, fires at 360 degree uh, alternating firing. Uh, the cases are horizontally split on this bike and the way it was engineered, they were always leak free and trouble free, extremely reliable. Again, these, as I mentioned earlier, they, they, not many of these survived. They didn't weather well outside. So if most of the ones that were left outside rotted and uh, had uh, rust issues. This, the, the whole front fork on it is a girder style stamped steel front end. This is a CA77 Dream Touring 305 model. Has a really cool uh, uh, badge black with the gold on there. So doing a little comparative price valuation out here. We went out to the Haggerty price guide. I also have the comprehensive vintage motorcycle price guide right here. You can look this up line, uh, online or you can go to Haggerty uh, online and check it out. The, the number one value of this bike in number one condition is rated at $12,000 by Haggerty and by the uh, comprehensive vintage motorcycle price guide that I have right here in the 2020 edition. The number two value is 10,000 and the number three, 000, three value of this bike is 8,000. I'm gonna say this one is, is a solid number two bike. I uh, would uh, estimate that its value at around $10,000. Uh, we have just invested over 3,000 into preservation services on it. I'm not going to say restoration services because this bike wasn't restored. These are more preservation services. The inside of the tank is, is very clean. The um, carburetor has been restored. Inside of the tank is super nice, hard to find them like this. Uh, we're running VP fuel in here, which uh, is a non-ethanol fuel. I've got the logo on my shirt here. If you want to look it up online, highly recommend. Buy five gallons of it for about 55 bucks best money you can spend. The new ethanol is horrible for the motors and the, and the carburetors. The carburetor's like brand new. It has a brand new fuel petcock on there, new fuel lines, the carb's been rebuilt, the motor's been tuned, the valves are adjusted. It's got a brand new battery in it, uh, a brand new set of Firestone, top of the line Firestone white wall tires. And it's just a beautiful piece. So if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Um, be happy to answer any questions for you. Be, be happy to keep it here in the museum if you decide to leave it here. And uh, ship it anywhere in the country for about 500 approximately, plus or minus. You can also ship it over to the UK for about 750 Message us your zip for a, a shipping quote. Door-to-door, -door, licensed, insured, enclosed transports, stress-free. Or make a trip out of it. Come see the museum. We have three floors open today. Uh, come see the guys down at the museum seven days a week. I almost forgot to mention it has an enclosed chain drive which keeps the chain lubed and clean and out of the elements and keeps the oil from splashing up on the bike or, or onto the rider. One of my favorite profiles of the bike is this, this uh, rear quarter view right here. The way it has a sculpted rear fender, the square shocks, the white wall tire, the dual exhaust on the black paint with the, the chrome stripe uh, strip around the seat. Just a stunning piece. Good luck finding a nicer original one. I haven't seen a nicer original one. I've seen restored ones that are you know 100 point bikes, but it's nothing like having an original. Uh, these are the ones that are gonna go up in value down the road because they're so rare. Uh, a restored bike is always gonna be worth, in my opinion, a little bit less than an original. Uh, original paint on this bike is, is in, it still shines. It's been touched up in a few spots, but uh, overall it looks excellent. So 
Good luck bidding on it. God bless America. I'm going to ride it back into the museum where it'll be on display until it's picked up. A new owner, or you can leave it here, like I said. Thanks for watching this far, guys. Good luck bidding and God bless America.